What's up everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Audio V gaming content. And with that all said, we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your ATM robberies and bank heist mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download all of the requirements that's in some of the description below. Once you guys have completed that, then I suggest you downloading these two files as well. Heap Limit Adjuster and Pack File Limit Adjuster as well. Make sure you guys do download these files because they are really important. Just to let you guys know that I've been getting so many comments about this mod that does not work. Unfortunately, you are right. This mod does not work. But I did go deeper and deeper on how to fix this mod. There is a solution, but there's bad news and there's good news. The bad news is that you will have to use the older version of ScriptHookV.net. The version that we are installing is version 2.10.10. .10. This mod will only work with ScriptHookV version 2.10.10. .10. So ScriptHookV.net version 2.10.10 .10 will only work for this mod. So unfortunately, if you are going to install other mods, then those mods will not work. So this mod over here needs an update. But unfortunately, I have contacted the, the developer and he said that there will be no feature updates for this mod. So there will be no feature updates for this mod, guys. But I have found a fixed solution. Like I said, there is bad news and there is good news. So the good news is that this mod does work. But the bad news is you are using the downgraded version. So let's get straight into it and I'll show you how to install this mod properly. So we're going to get straight into it. But before we do, make sure you download all other requirements and even those two files that I showed you. And really important, make sure you download scripthookv.net version 2.10.10. .10. Make sure you download the zip file here. I have already downloaded the file, so I don't need to download it. Once you have completed that, then we're gonna get straight into the video. Unfortunately, I am starting this tutorial inside a clean folder. As you can see, I've got absolutely no mods inside my folder. So, since this is a clean folder, we need to go through OpenIV. Open up your OpenIV. Then go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows. This process will take a few seconds. Once your OpenIV is open, head to your tools. Go to ASI Manager. Then now install your ASI loader, install openiv.asi. This application will pop up. Select yes to create a mod spotter, and then install your open camera. Close your application and close your OpenIV and that's all you gotta do. Right click on your Grand Theft Audio V game, open file location. Now we are going to install our requirements. Open up your script hook v extract folder. Head to your bin folder and select input 8.drl script hook v.drl. Make sure that you install these two files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now what we're gonna do is that we are going to install the scripthookv.net version 2.10.10 .10. 
Now select all the files inside your scriptbook v.net and then all you gotta do is take out the text files and now drag those four files inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. Make sure that this is version 2.10.10. Once you guys have completed that, we are going to install our trainers. This is optional, you can install these trainers if you want, it's totally up to you. Open up your trainer v extract folder, select your trainer v.asi and .ini, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Audio v main folder. Open up your menu extract folder. Select your menu stuff folder and menu.asi. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. Now right click on your main folder, refresh, right click again and create a new folder. And name that folder, scripts. Make sure you spell scripts right, press enter once and press enter again. Now make sure that you download native UI version 1.8. 1.9 and 1.9.1 will not work. Make sure that you download native UI version 1.8. Now select the native UI.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now we have completed installing our requirements. Now we are going to install the two files. Head over to your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. Now open up your GTA V Heat Adjuster Extract folder. There will be only one file in there. Just select your ASI file and drag it inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. Open up your pack file limit adjuster extract folder and there will be two files in there. Select your INI file and your ASI file except for the text file and then uh, drag it inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. And now we have finished installing the two files. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to install the mod. Head over to your scripts folder. Open up your raw banks and ATM extract folder. And now what you got to do is very, very carefully, listen very carefully at this part guys. You must listen. Go to your scripts folder. Open up your scripts folder. Select all the files except for the native UI and drag those three files inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Now guys, here is a part where you must listen. Okay. Go to your ATM bank heist settings dot INI file. Right click and edit with notepad. Now over here, you need to do a few adjustments, okay? So, as you can see over here, it says change this value to toggle ATM markers. One is to enable, zero is to disable. Now we're gonna start up top. The main key to activate the mod is G. Can you see guys, G. But unfortunately, G does not work. G has a bug, so you must change the key. Remember guys, you must change the key to make this mod work. So I'm gonna change the key to K, capital K. Now remember, you can change any key, okay? You can use K, L, M, um, R, S, T or F1, F5, F7, it's totally up to you, okay? You can use any key what you want. 
once you finish with the key, then just scroll down a bit to blimps. Now it says over here, change this value to toggle ATM blips, which means that um, we need to enable it so we can see the blips on the map. So press one over here and then I'll change value to toggle gang deal blips and press one over here uh, change value to enable yeah change one over here change that one to one change this value to enable in disable police officers and guards yes change that to one uh, and North Yankton, yes, and change this one over here to one. Make sure everything is one except for this one, because this one over here is not important. Once you guys have finished with your settings, uh, yes, 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 then go to save, save your settings, and then now exit out of your notepad. Now, double check to see if it's saved properly, just double click. Check it, check it. Yes, it is saved properly. Now, once you guys have finished with your settings, go back to your Gravity ODV main folder, right click, refresh, then exit out of your game folder, right click and refresh your game folder, and then we can go back in the game. But guys, warning, if you do get a Scott Hook V, alert or warning, okay, just click no. So if there's a Scott Hook V warning pop up, just click no, okay? So we're gonna go straight in the game and I'll see you guys in the game. And welcome back guys. If you guys do go in the game, just wait there for a few seconds and then your screen will be blank. Just wait until it loads, okay guys? So as you can see now that the ATM robbery bank heist is now completely loaded. So once you get in the game, just wait there until a few seconds or under one minute, okay? And then your game will be blank and then you'll be back in the game again. Because what that does is that it loads all of the props and peers into the game. So here we go, guys. As you can see that everything that all of the blips is there and even the bank heist and etc. So what we are going to do is that we are going to test this mob. So we are going to rob this bank over here and here we are, we are at the bank over here. So we are going to test this bank to see if it works. So all you got to do is just come to here, come through, come past the security and you'll see a marker right there and press K. Hit K or the press so uh, press K and then now there you go. Push the button and then now the security will come and shoot you. But unfortunately I do not have God mode on so I'm gonna die. So yeah this High stars work this mod, okay guys. So we are going to test the AT machines. I oh, know. Let's go and test. I oh, know we can't because we are wanted. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna die anyway. So yeah, the mod does work, okay. So there we go guys. There's proof that this mod still works. And I hope you guys do enjoy that mod because that mod still works. But unfortunately, like what I said before, that this mod will only work on version 2.10.10 scotthookv.net and native UI version 1.8. So that means that this mod will only work on the downgraded version. If you install any other mods, then those mods will not work. If you wanna play with this mod and play with other mods then the only solution that I can give you is by doing this. Now over here I've got multiple folders 
this folder over here is my bank mod folder and this mod over here is my 40 mod folder so inside this folder it is squidhookv.net version 2.10.10 and in this folder is squidhookv.net version 3.0.2 which is the updated version so you guys can do it like that if you want to and so you guys can play with the bank heist and play with the updated uh, mods as well so if you guys have any questions about this mod or if you guys still need help installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you if you have any problems with any other mods then let me know in the comments I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out but unfortunately guys that is it for me if you guys do enjoy this video then smash the like button and subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.